Today I'm making Barbados pineapple cake. It's in theme of beach huts in Barbados. It's quite a diversion from what we normally do. Anyway, let's get on. Ingredients you'll need for this recipe: 200 grams of flour, self-raising; 150 grams of butter or margarine, and 100 grams of uh, or 150 grams of sugar plus one egg. Of course, um, the pineapple, which we have to slice and dice. I'm putting that to one side. You need a fairly sharp knife to use this, unlike a previous video. And the first thing to do with a pineapple is top and tail it. Take the tail end off first. And you slice into it. And cut down and set the tail end off. Still a bit of uh, pineapple there, we can use it later. Then top end it, you slice this thing that looks like a bad, bad hairdo up at the top. And you do need a really sharp knife for this. And next thing we're going to do is I'm going to carefully take this outer layer off and I'm going to be careful how I do this because I'm going to be using this a bit later so that just if you can see that it's a bit awkward being right handed with this camera on this angle just slice that outer layer off and console that pineapple These pineapples are about a pound each and um, as you can see you get quite a lot for your money with pineapple. And next thing you do is just cut it into slices just so you've got enough slices to cover the bottom of your pan. Just need enough slices to cover the bottom of your pan. Three or four slices ought to do it. It was a conventional baking tin for this. What I'm going to do is take handle off this pan and use this. It saves spending a fortune on baking tins. And believe me, the last baking tin I bought were absolutely rubbish. It didn't last very long. So that's what I'm going to be using instead of a baking tin, just an ordinary pan. And the first thing you want to do is <clears throat> sprinkle the bottom of this pan with brown sugar. Did I forget to mention to uh, grease it first? Forget to do, and that's. Um, Grease pan up before we put anything into it. And you sprinkle back your pan with brown sugar. Next thing you do is you put your pineapple slices, preferably thinly cut, into the bottom of the pan. Just lay them on the bottom. <clears throat> 
one thing to mention is um, <clears throat> pineapple in its bare form like that is it's fairly tangent, it's fairly bitter so to get best out of pineapple the best thing to do is so it's not so bitter is sprinkle some white sugar on it makes it taste a bit sweeter plus if you're um, if you're going to be having this stood around for any period of time what you want to do is sprinkle some lemon juice on it just to preserve it you don't want to saturate it just sprinkle some lemon juice slightly on to preserve it and that'll sink in nicely next thing you want to do is um, Mix together your um, butter, eggs and your sugar. Just add a bit of onto there. First thing you want to do is mix together your butter and your sugar. Get a better angle on that. It's not easy doing it on camera work. Just mix that in and if it helps you can warm this on a pan beforehand. Warm this in the oven beforehand. It really helps if you uh, warm it on the oven before. Before and. Next you want four tablespoons of um, apple juice. want to stir that thoroughly. It smells quite nice of apples. Then you gradually add your flour, your self-raising flour. Just cover that over the top and just mix that in. To mention you want half a teaspoon of baking powder as well. Just mix that in nicely. And it's a nice sort of stiff consistency. Nice sort of semi stiff consistency. It's 
just had a sneaky taste there and it tastes all right. Then you want to cover your pineapple with your mixture. Pour your mixture onto your pineapple slices. It's a bit reluctant to come out there, that's a good sign. Yet you've got consistency right. Spread it round your pan like that. Or your baking tin or whatever. Um, golden colour this mixture. That's exactly what you should be aiming for with something like this. A nice golden mixture. Slightly smelling of apples. And if you want you could put some cinnamon on. So there you go, you just cover your mixture. Cover your pineapple slices with your mixture and this should go in oven for about 45 minutes to an hour and it should be ready for tipping upside down as per its name upside down cake and um, it'll be ready for sprinkling of coconut on top it's nicely done there a nice golden colour that's what you want and just put that in the oven for about an hour and we'll come back to it a bit later. The uh, Barbados pineapple cake has come out of the oven. It's been in the oven for about an hour. It's still a bit syrupy on top and what it needs is um, another 20 minutes in the oven. But what I'm going to do next is show you how to put desiccated coconut on it using a special recipe. It's not a complicated one, it's just a way of making it. For this, all you do for this is um, put some desiccated coconut in a bowl and mix it in with some jam. Actually, it might be a good idea to. Um, Eat this on the oven first for about five minutes before mixing it in with coconut. All you do is um, eat some jam in a pan. Oh, this is this camera for this. It takes about five minutes just to eat some jam in a pan. Get that nicely melted down. Then once that's melted, add your desiccated coconut. And just stir that in. Until you get it nicely mixed in. It's a bit difficult working camera when you're doing this at the same time. That's why it's fucking about so much. Let's stir that in nicely. It doesn't take much doing that and it's not so complicated.
Once you've um, finished stirring your desiccated coconut in pan, then all it remains to do, all it remains to do is just spread that on. Preferably in between your pineapple slices so that we don't get a conflict of taste. Spread it on like that. Just send a bit in the middle there, just for a bit of interest. Just try and space it out a bit. Make sure it's nice and spaced out. And if you want for a bit of additional decoration, I uh, believe in uh, waste not want not, and this is where we recycle power pineapple. And this is your skin at pineapple basically. And you can even cut little slits in it like that. And use uh, what I call a bad hairdo bit, that which comes off at top at pineapple. And just cut it round. It's up to you whether you do this or not. It just has a bit of. Um, tropical decoration to it and a bit of interest There you have our Barbados pineapple cake, complete with additional decoration. It looks a lot nicer if you do it like that. And what you can also do as well is garnish your side of the plate with these strips of pineapple so you're not wasting any of fruit. Bits of leftover strips of pineapple. And it should be good for any presentation. And it should be good for any dinner party presentation of Barbados pineapple cake. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, we'll leave it at